Hey guys, Ben with Income Options Trading here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up two-factor authentication into your login to your VPS when you sign in through your remote desktop connection software. On my screen here on the left-hand side, I have my virtual machine on my VPS. And on the right-hand side is my local machine. On the right-hand side, I went to signup.duo.com. And here you can sign up for Duo. It says trial, but as long as you have less than 10 users, then you won't need to pay for it. If you just sign up and just use it for what I have, then you only have two users so it'll be free at least for now hopefully it is forever so once you sign up start your trial it'll get you a link to set up the duo mobile security app on your phone as an admin and then we should be able to do everything we need to with our phone and with our computer the next thing we're going to go to is admin.duosecurity.com slash login and we're going to log in it'll send you a push to your duo app so i will do that and click approve and it'll log you in so the first thing we're going to do here is on the left hand side we are going to go to applications and then we're going to on the upper right hand corner select protect an application and we're going to search for rdp like it's spell rdp so microsoft rdp we're going to click protect it'll bring you into here and it'll give you an integration key a secret key and an api host name so these are the three things that you need on your virtual machine in order to set up your two-factor authentication so over on your virtual machine now i'm going to open up firefox so in this browser i'm going to go to to dl.duosecurity.com slash duo dash win dash login dash latest.exe. I'll have the link in the description below and I click enter and it should automatically download your exe file. So I'm gonna open that. So here's where you'll need your integration keys, here key and API host name, like I said. So I'm gonna hit next. First it asks for your API host name. So I can just click copy on my local machine, come over to the VM and click control V and it should paste that in there. Click next. Now we need the integration key, copy and control V and then the secret key, copy, control V, click next. Now we wanna make sure that these top two are checked. So the first one, we wanna make sure that we can get into our account if Duo Security is offline. And the second one is an automatic push. So after you hit enter for your password, it will automatically send a push. Click next. We don't need to enable smart card support. Click next. We don't need to check that one. And then click install and finish. So now we have everything we need on our virtual machine in order to do two-factor authentication. Coming back to our local machine, I'm going to go to users on the left-hand side. Normally you'd have zero users and you would click add user on the upper right-hand corner. And I would suggest starting with just your secondary accounts, not your administrator account, but whatever you call that, I would put that in here. Mine was called IOT. So I would put IOT, put active. And then if you scroll all the way down to phone, you want to click add phone and put in your phone number. They'll send you a text with a link. So you can click that link and it'll add this account to your Duo Security mobile app so that when you log on to this user account, then it should send a push through your mobile phone to accept. I'm going to test to make sure that it works. I am going to go to power, disconnect, go back to remote desktop connection, and I'm going to log in to my secondary account and see what it does. Click OK, click Yes. And you can see, so I logged on and this is the window that pops up. So do a security. So now it sent me something on my phone. So I can log into my phone and click Approve. And now we're in. So now we're into our secondary account here. And if you haven't done this on your administrator account, I would go back and do that on your local machine and then test to make sure you can log on to your VM. And if that's the case, that's the last time I think I'm going to log on to my administrator account. And now I'm going to do the rest of the stuff on the secondary account which still prompts for the administrator password hopefully this was helpful if you have any questions let me know uh, and thanks for watching